What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Bernie, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this super cool compact travel trailer from Free Solo. Now this is gonna be a very, very unique interior floor plan and perhaps one you may have never seen before. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, as always, before we get started, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,370 pounds, a cargo capacity of 845 pounds, and it's gonna ride on a single axle, 15 inch tires. This is such a cool floor plan, and we'll get into it in a second, and you'll see exactly why, because I can almost guarantee you've never seen a floor plan like this before. So first of all, let's take a look at the outside of this unit and see what they got going on. This is a larger teardrop style travel trailer. Right next to it, you can actually see a more compact teardrop style right here. And then you get to these slightly larger ones. And then this specific one right here is gonna measure about 20 feet long overall. And that's gonna be from coupler to the very back. It's got this cool side access door here. It's got some really nice contemporary graphics on it. This is gonna be a fiberglass unit all the way around. Now it is a fiberglass laminated unit, which means this wall up here is the same type of fiberglass that they put on the side. Very cool, you can see up front, it's got a little storage area up here. You could also put batteries and maybe even some small, you know, cargo items up front has a single propane can, manual tongue jack, has a BAL frame coming around this way. Again, you can see the side hatch, which will show you what that leads into once we get inside. This is gonna be the outside of your water heater. You have your fresh water connection here. This is gonna be the outside of your furnace. This is the outside of your gas electric refrigerator. You have a wall air conditioning system. So this is kind of like a window unit. It's not on top, it's on the side, which is good for a couple things. First of all, it's gonna lower the overall height of the unit. So if you're gonna take this into areas that might be a bit tighter, that can come in really handy. You can see over here, it's got that really aggressive Westlake tire they put on a lot of these, as well as a torsion axle. So this is gonna use the torsion system for an axle. You have all your sewer connections right here outside shower, your city water connection. You have a solar prep right here, which is designed to keep your battery charged and maintained. So if you have a small solar panel out here, you could use that to maintain the battery. Plus a 30 amp connection here. And then you have a storage hatch right here. And this is a pass-through storage. A lot of space in here for the size of this trailer. It is lockable, of course. Coming around to the back, you have your LED strips down here for your lighting. Plus you have some clearance lights up top and you have your stabilizer jacks back here. And there are no stabilizer jacks up front. So you just have your front tongue jack. You have a small inch and a quarter receiver right here. So you can put a bike rack or something like that here. Let's open up this side of your bottom storage so you can see just how large it is. Good amount of space in here. You can see the deck above it is framed out of wood. Coming around this way, the wheels look really nice. Nice aggressive look to it overall. You have a nice LED light up here as well. Looks like it's a really bright LED light. Really nice. Anyways, let's take a look inside of this really cool Free Solo FAM, F-A-M. So it's got a single like slide out step right here. It does not have a friction hinge on the door, something I would have recommended. A little creaky sounding, but it does have a screen door but you should instantly be able to see why this is such a unique floor plan as we walk inside. Check that out. So you have two rather large bunks on top of each other. I always talk to people about mountain biking and the fact that I'm into it. Something like this might work out really well for you. The only thing I would keep a really close eye on is this door height is really low and I actually hit my head smack dab on that when I was touring it initially before I started filming. But that is very cool. It's got a little ladder right here. Looking underneath you can see that access door that I talked about earlier. So this is a really really good format if you want to remove this bunk and load bicycles or other things inside of this area and you would essentially sleep above it. So it really makes great use of the space that's available. And then under here, 
you can lift this up. I don't know if I can do it right now. There we go. You can see what the storage looks like. And if you took the front wheel off of a bike, you could easily fit it on top of this bunk or if you remove the bunk in this area. Very cool. What do you guys think of that? Coming over here, you can see the really nice, compact, yet fully furnished kitchenette area. You have a two burner gas cooktop, nice stainless steel single basin sink. Over here, you have your tank monitoring. You can turn on your water pump, your water heater. You have a 110 outlet there. You have some storage up top. Nice compact microwave. You have more storage below. No drawers though. Nice compact gas electric Dometic refrigerator. Then you have your little stereo right here with Bluetooth. Big countertop. You have your air conditioning system right here, which is actually very adequate and easy to replace if the thing ever goes out on you. Plus check this out. So a lot of people might think in a unit like this, this front bunk area would be the only area to sleep. But in the very back, you have this much larger area and you put the pillows right here in the center and it converts into a large bed. And this is a dinette. So it's a wraparound style dinette. And you really don't even need to use this part as a bed if you just wanted to sleep in this back part. Just move that pillow out of the way and you got plenty of room. Plus you have additional storage up here. You have a nice little notched out area right here and you have a lot of windows in this unit. Well, you have two windows in this unit, but because it's such a small unit, it actually gives you a good amount of lighting. You have a little light up top here. And the one thing that I am looking for is your cable connection, where it would be. Okay, so it's right here, your power cable USB connections right here. So I imagine you would mount the TV right here, set it up here, maybe put it on a swivel arm here. If you put it on a swivel arm, you wanna make sure that you have a backer back here to be able to support the weight, of course. But check this out. This is very cool. Let's take a look inside of the shower area. So this was interesting. So you push out and pull to open up your wet bath. So by giving you all of this up here, you don't have a full-size bathroom. In here, it's a basic wet bath, shower sprayer. You know, it's functional. It's definitely functional for something this small. The fact is, though, you could sleep a good number of people inside of here, or you could use this to carry a nice toy with you or a couple toys with you. You could sleep two kids up here. Yeah, they'd be a little tight, but then you could sleep two adults back here, and then you could carry bikes or whatever you need to in this space. Or you could sleep, you know, two kids, one on each, and then adults back here, and you have a good size compact unit. Remember, this doesn't have any slides in it, so you want to keep that in mind. It's very compact. It does have the torsion suspension on it, so this should give you the maneuverability you're looking for if you're going to tow this behind a vehicle. Now, what type of tow vehicle would I suggest for something like this? In my opinion, this is really ideal for most of those tow vehicles that have between a five and 7,000 pound tow rating, which would be your lighter half-ton trucks, perhaps a Dodge Durango, Jeep Grand Cherokee, as long as you get it equipped with the towing package, right? And the towing package is generally gonna give you the trailer brake control prep already in place. And it's usually gonna give you the higher towing capacity because when you don't have it, it's actually a pretty significant difference. It's like two to 3,000 pounds difference in terms of towing capacity. A Ford Expedition, a Ford Explorer with the proper towing package, any of those vehicles that have between that five and 7,000 pound towing capacity should be able to handle something like this. You're still gonna wanna make sure you set up a weight distribution sway control hitch because something like this can still change the towing dynamics of any vehicle you put it behind. I would not put this behind any vehicle that just has that three to 4,000 pound maximum towing capacity though. This is a little bit too big for that. Anyways, I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you guys think? Very cool floor plan, especially with the bunks up front, that storage access door right there, and the really cool little sleeper area in the back. Not too happy with the uh, wet bath area, but you know, it's about compromise. You get space, but you have to give up space. Anyways, guys, leave a comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.